Good morning, everybody, and welcome to yoga. My name is Mitzi. Today we're going to be doing a gentle yoga class utilizing a chair. So if you don't have one, I'm going to talk for a minute or so here to allow you the opportunity to go get yourself a chair. Um, also, if you have a yoga mat, that's great, but if not, that's okay too. We won't actually be laying on the mat at all today. It will only specifically be for standing on for a little extra cushion under your feet but it also helps to grip the chair as well so if you are not on a carpeted surface you want to make sure that that chair does not move or slide on you so the mat helps to grip that chair if you're on a carpet probably it's fine just test your chair out um, make sure that it's a sturdy chair make sure that when you put pressure on it with your hands it's not gonna slide out from underneath you you don't want to be taking a, a dive to the floor in a yoga class all right so check your space out make sure it's safe uh, have some water nearby in case you need it um, and other than that I just want you to enjoy class today the chair offers a really lovely opportunity to get deeper in some postures that you could otherwise not do um, because of balance issues and stability issues so it's a really a great tool so I hope that you enjoy class today all right are we ready everybody got their chair ready to go all right I'm gonna you can take the chair to the front of your mat so that you're facing me to see if you like I'm going to actually face this way just so that you can see body alignment and proper form a little bit better and easier all right, so we're going to start with our feet hip distance apart and I want you to stand up as tall as you can into Dasana. We're going to take those shoulders and just roll them back and down, setting them away from our ears and from our shoulders. Letting our hands relax down at our sides, we turn our palms straight forward and let the fingers curl softly in towards your palms. Please go ahead and close your eyes just for a moment here as we breathe, softening our face, relaxing our cheeks and our jaw. We'll take a deep breath, inhaling through our nose, and a slow exhale back out through the nose. And see if you can hear the sound of your breath as it enters your throat and hits the back of your throat and travels downward. See if you can feel the expansion of your abdomen, your core, your entire core expanding as you inhale and then releasing and coming back in and together as you exhale. I want you to take a moment while you're standing tall and quiet here to think about how you're feeling this morning. I want you to think about what feels good, what areas you'd like to work on, and what your intention for class is today. And if there are any areas of your body that are a little bit tender, sore, or need protecting, please also remind yourself to be gentle and kind to yourself today. If you need to back out of any postures or modify anything, please give yourself the freedom and the permission to do so. Always doing what feels good in class. Let's take one more deep breath here. Feeling that space open up across the chest and into the abdomen. Feeling the space between your eyes grow wider as your cheeks and your jaw and your eyes soften. Good, then let's slowly open our eyes and take a deep breath and reach the arms over your head. Look up if you can, keeping the eyes and casting them upward. And then exhale, cast the eyes downward, looking towards your chair or towards your feet and toes. Again, deep breath, inhale. Not adding in our back bend yet, just the tip upward and the exhale down. Now take your head and turn it to the right. Look over your right shoulder and gently turn it over to the left, looking over your left shoulder. Let's put it together. Deep breath, inhale, looking up to the sky, reaching the hands up. Exhale, casting the eyes downward, taking your chin into your chest. Lifting the head to center, rotate to the right, and tip the head and look to the left. Beautiful. Inhale, reach those arms to the sky. And this time I want you to bend the knees and melt down into a flat back. Let's place our hands onto our chair, right onto the pad of that chair, and arch the spine and look forward into cow. Then on your exhale, pull your belly button up, push into the chair, driving your shoulder blades apart as you draw your chin in. Again, deep breath, inhale, tipping that tail upward, looking forward, arching into cow. And exhaling and pulling the belly button up and in into cat. Can we do that one more time? Deep breath, inhale, lengthen the spine, looking forward, inhaling. 
and exhaling, tucking that belly button up and in, drawing the chin into the chest. Coming to a neutral back, please soften your knees and let's take the hands to the top of the chair, right to that back rest. And then just gently push your hips back, maybe step your feet back another three or four inches and really press down into the chair with the hands, tipping your tail up, feeling the length under the armpit. It kind of mimics a child's pose position. Good, then we'll take our left hand, release it from the chair, place it on your lower back palm facing upward, and then look past your left shoulder and rotate that shoulder upward towards the sky. Feeling that stretch down the side of your right back, right side of your back, and right underneath that shoulder and armpit. Good, square it up, place that left hand on the chair. Let's do the other side. Right hand comes to the lower back, palm up. Rotate that torso ever so slightly, looking upward over your right shoulder as you press down into your left. Excellent, hands come back to the chair, back to a square child's pose, lifting that tail, dropping the head. Very nice, put your hands back on the seat of the chair, step the feet back in slightly if you walk to them back. Arch into cow, looking forward. Exhale, round into cat, pulling the chin in, opening up the back and the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen one more time, arching the back, looking forward. This time, place your hands on your thighs and roll yourself up nice and slow, head coming last. Beautiful, roll those shoulders back. Let's add a half salutation now. So let's take a deep breath, reach up to the sky. And this time, arch, give me a gentle back bend, looking up, pushing the hips forward. Then exhale, swan dive out over the chair, placing your hands on the chair, or if you wish, pass the chair to the floor. Inhale into half lift, let's lengthen that back into a flat tabletop position. And then exhale and fold back over, releasing the head. Be careful if you're bringing your, hand, your hands past the chair that you don't actually bump your head into that chair. Good, then take a deep breath, bend your knees and reach all the way up to the sky, arching here into a gentle back bend. And we close those arms back down to the side. Let's put it together just a bit faster. Inhale those arms to the sky, up. Exhale, dive out over your legs, hands to the chair or past the chair. Inhale into half lift, elongate the spine, zipping your abdominal muscles in. And then exhale and close it back over. Deep breath, bend those knees and rise, reaching up to the sky, pushing the hips forward. And exhale, closing the arms. One more time, just at that pace. Inhale those arms to the sky. Exhale, swan dive out over, placing the hands on the chair or on the floor or the legs, wherever you feel comfortable. Inhale, come up halfway, elongate the back. And then exhale and return back down to the folded position. Deep breath, inhale, bend those knees and rise, arching here at the top, pressing the hips forward, and exhale, and closing the arms. Good, you ready to add on? Deep breath, inhale those arms up. Exhale, dive forward, forward, fold over your legs. Now everyone come up to the hands on the chair, please. Bend your knees and step just your right foot back, please. Good, lift your back heel, and then you can stay here if you need to. If you can, reach the arms up, tucking that tail under into a low lunge, or in this case, a high lunge. Exhale, hands come down. Now you can stay here for a moment, just pause. See if you can put pressure in your chair. If the chair feels sturdy and you feel strong, step your left foot back. If it doesn't, then you're gonna stay right here. And listen, if you're in this lunge with me, right now step the right foot forward and then the left foot back. For those of you that were here, step the right foot forward. And now we'll reach the arms up to the sky. So we're just doing that lunge on the other side. Release it back down, step both feet forward. Everyone's now in the same position, adjusting the feet slightly back. Inhale, come up halfway, extend the spine. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bend the knees and rise and reach high to the sky, pushing the hips forward. And exhale and close the arms. Let's do all of that again, adding in those lunges. Inhale, the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Hands to the chair, step the right foot back. And you can stay there if you wish, or reach the arms to the sky, tucking that tail under to get that right hip flexor stretch. Fold back over, now either step back or step forward and switch your feet. Inhale if you can and rise, reaching the arms up, tucking that tail under. 
Exhale, close the hands. Let's see if we can all step back into plank. And again, if that doesn't feel good for you, you can stay right here in this half lift. Good, now for those of you that wanna go a step further, maybe you dip the hips up slightly, lifting the chest. Make sure your chair is very sturdy. You feel safe, it's not gonna tip on you. Shift the hips up and see if you can press your head between your arms. And then step both feet up, coming into a forward fold. So those of you that were in a forward fold, we rejoin you there. Inhale into half lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, bend the knees and rise. And reach the sky. And exhale. So remember, this part right here where we're in plank and we shift down dog, if you don't feel comfortable with that, you don't feel like your chair is going to support your weight and you're just a little bit nervous about that, you're going to stay here in this forward fold and in the half lift. You can even put your hands on the top when we go to down dog to extend the spine. All right, so you do not have to be back in that plank position if you're not comfortable there. All right, listen to your body and the equipment that you have today. Let's forward fold and try it again. Good, step the right foot back into that low lunge, adjusting your feet, reaching high to the sky if you can. Step the hand, hands back down, and you can either step the foot back and switch, or step forward and then step back, and then reach up to the sky. Good, everyone release. Either step up for your forward fold, or if you can, step back for plank. Holding, if you can, lift the heart into upward facing dog and then shift the hips up. Remember, you can be in this down dog position here, or you can be right here, a little more gentle version if you like. Everyone step back up. Now I've shown you all your options. I hope you understand the options. Inhale, come up halfway. Take it down. We're gonna put it together with a little less instruction. Inhale up, little bit faster movement. Listen to your body, know which options are right for you. Inhale, extend the arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Hands to the chair, step back right foot. If you wish, reach. Release, change your feet out. And reach. Release, either step forward or step back. Drop the hips if you can. Then lift the hips. Then step forward if you're not already there. Forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees and rise. Arching, looking up. Exhaling close. Did you get all that? Let's do it one more time. Deep breath, inhale up. Exhale, forward fold, dive out over your legs. Step the right foot back. If you wish, rise. Tuck in that tail under. Lower down, switch the feet out. And rise. Lower down, either step forward or step back. If you can, arch. And then lift the hips up. Drop the head. Step forward if you're not already there. And forward fold. Let's bring our feet together, knees together. Inhale into half lift, extend the spine. Exhale, let it go. Then inhale, bend the knees and rise. So the knees are together, let's sit back in chair pose. Reach your hands forward for me today and just push those tailbones back, keeping the knees behind the toes and zipping up through the abs. Lift your heart, sink your shoulders, and turn your tail slightly down. Inhale, open up like a V, lifting the heart, close the arms down and back. And then let's put that together. Deep breath, inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Step the right foot back, if you can, reach into that lunge. Lower down, switch the feet out either by stepping back or forward, and reach. Forward fold, step up or back, your choice. Dip, and press back into down dog. Step forward if you're not already there, feet together, forward fold. Right into an upward salute, inhale and reach. Arching the back here, look up, sit back in chair, reach the arms straight forward to keep that spine nice and long. Inhale, open the arms to the side this time, and set them down. Roll those shoulders back. 
Well done, my friends. Moving on from that, I want you to step up to your chair. And if your chair has a little padding on it and your knee feels okay to do so, slide your right knee onto the chair and place your hands on the back rest of the chair. Left foot goes back and see if you can lift that foot up off the ground. Now, if your knee doesn't feel good kneeling in this position, you can simply do this from a standing position next to the chair instead. For those of you that can go a little further, we're gonna reach our right arm up above us. And if you could go further yet, still tip it slightly forward into scale. Abdominal muscles braced, breathing. Holding strong, core work here. Very nice, bring the hand down. Take this left foot, step it out to the side, sit up nice and tall. Bring your left hand to your left leg, and we're just gonna reach our right arm over our head. So for those of you that are not kneeling, your feet are just both down, and you're reaching your right arm over your head. Tail is underneath you, elongate the right side of the rib cage, looking up if you can and then release it down, stepping backwards onto your mat. Step off your chair, shake those legs out. Let's try the other side. Stepping the left knee onto the chair in a kneeling position, right leg lifts behind you. Again, feel free to come to a standing position if you need to. Abdominal muscles braced, spine is long and lean. If you're able, left arm goes up. And again, you might find one side more challenging than the other. Just tune in, find a spot to focus on. For those of you that would like to go further, feel free to tip further forward. And again, breathing here deeply in through our nose. So it's not as easy as it might appear, is it? It's challenging for our balance. Our core really works hard here. Good, unhinge, come up. Take this right foot out to the side. Again, if you need to stand up, you may. Left arm goes over the head, right hand at the right hip. Pushing that left arm up and over. Well done, take that arm all the way down. Step gently back off of your mat, releasing the knee and shake those legs out. Very nice, our warm up is complete. We're gonna move on to a warrior sequence, our first one. So I want you to go ahead and take your right foot underneath your chair and then step your left foot back and try to get your hips square towards the front so everything's facing forward. Then we're gonna go ahead and bend this right knee until you feel the bottom of your patella or right around where your kneecap is touching the chair. And that's kind of like your guide, your little tactile guide, to know, okay, that's how far my knee needs to bend. And if you look down, your knee should be over your ankle. So if it's not, readjust your foot so that it is. Keep the shoulders square facing straight ahead. And then when you're ready, inhale and extend your arms to the sky. Interlacing those fingers will reach up high, relaxing those shoulders down away from your ears. Looking straight ahead, please take a deep breath here. Inhale through your nose. Firming that back thigh as we press the heel towards the earth. Reaching those arms straight up. Now I want you to take your left hand, keep that right knee in contact with the chair, and bring your left hand to the outside of your right leg, and begin to rotate your torso to the right. So we're lifting up through the rib cage as we rotate through the spine. Keeping that back leg straight and that heel press down. Nice deep breath here. Good, now can you straighten this right leg out and bring your left hand to the chair and rotate a little further, pressing your right glute back. Some of you might find that you feel that under the glute, down that side of that leg to the piriformis. If you'd like to go a little deeper, slide your elbow down to the chair instead of your hand. Great stretch right there for that piriformis and outer hip and glute, isn't it? It's lovely. Go ahead, if you're on your elbow, come back up to your hand, and then bend the knee, tap the chair with your knee, reach back up to the sky and warrior one, squaring it off. Then straighten that front leg out and shift or tip forward into pyramid pose. Good, lengthen out through the crown of your head. Your legs are straight. Tip your tailbone up feeling free to come lower to your elbows if you need a deeper stretch.
good breath here. Inhale and exhale through your nose. Again, try to create flat, nice long lines through your back, tipping up through the tail and reaching out to the crown of your head. Good, now bend this front knee. If you're on your elbows, come back up and put your hands on the chair. Lift your back heel and spin it so that it is now straight. Step your right foot slightly back if you need to. Lift your chest up and drive that heel down, feeling the calf stretch in the back foot. And then soften your back knee just a hair and see if you can feel that a little lower down towards your gastrocnemius and your, and your I'm sorry, down towards your soleus, the bottom of your calf, all the way down towards your Achilles. And then as you straighten that leg back out on that back leg, feel it move up into that gastroc, that meaty part of your calf. Good, bracing the abs, either step forward or step back into plank. Drawing it in, if you can, arch, stay in a forward fold if your feet are together. Then everyone shift your hips up and find your down dog or your child's post position. And step both feet forward. Drop down into a forward fold with me. Everyone now should be in the same position. Inhale, come up to a half lift, pulling your abdominal muscles in. Good, bend your right knee, stay right here. As you bend your right knee and you pop that left hip out, feel that now down the left side of your back, left side of your outer thigh and glute. And then reach your left arm to the sky. And some of you, this may be just fine for. Some of you might wanna to drop to your elbow, get a little bit deeper of a stretch. Good, come down, bend your left knee, straighten your right leg. Again, you can be on your hands or on your elbows, and then reach your right arm to the sky. Both hands come down, bend both knees, draw your abs in, reach up high to the sky. Let's get that gentle back bend here, arching as we look up. Uh, and exhale those arms down and shake those shoulders up. That was side one, you ready to do side two? Let's do it, left leg forward, right leg steps back. Spin your feet out, your toes out just a hair, it's kind of turned out towards the corner of your mat. Then bend your left knee until you feel the contact with the chair, making sure your left knee is right over your ankle. Hips face straight ahead. We inhale those arms to the sky, interlacing here and pulling up, pressing back firmly into your right heel and calf, firming that back quadricep and back leg glute as well. Arms reach straight up. Let's take and release our right hand now to the outside of our left leg and begin to rotate your spine to the left quarter turn or so until you feel that rotation through your rib cage and through your back. Keep your upper body in the same position, but now straighten that front leg out and bring your right hand towards the chair and now begin to rotate a little further into revolve triangle pose. And of course, again, you can stay here with your um, body a little more upright with your hand on the chair, or you can dip down a little deeper and drop the elbow to the chair. It's a lovely stretch, isn't it? You should feel that right under that glute. So really pull that glute back, straightening out that leg, rotating from the ribs, looking up if you can. Good, bend this front knee, release the hands back to a square position, reach back up into warrior one, pressing that back heel down, squeezing that back glute, then fold forward, straighten out your front leg and come into pyramid pose, tipping up through that tail, reaching out through your head. Hands on the chair or elbows down if you want a deeper position. back up to your hands, soften this front knee, and then we're gonna turn the back heel forward. So bend the front knee, maybe step the left foot back just a hair. Good, now bend your back knee, and try to do so without lifting your right heel. So it's just a micro bend. And then straighten it back up. Good, and then either step forward and come into a forward fold, or step backwards 
and arch up into upward facing dog. Then we'll all tip that tail up, press the head between the arms, reaching the hands on the top of the chair or on the seat of the chair. And then step both feet up so we're all in the same position now, forward fold, release the head, shake it out. Bend your right knee for me, please. Right hand or elbow on the chair. Left arm goes up to the sky. Release it down. Bend the left knee now. Right leg straight. Right hand goes up to the sky. And again, I've got my elbow on the chair, but you may be here with your hand on the chair instead. And release it down. Bend both of your knees. Let's take our hands to our thighs now. And then just kind of roll ourselves up like a cat. One vertebrae at a time. Oh, and roll those shoulders back. Well done, my friends. Let's go back to the right side now. Step the right foot under the chair. This time, step your left foot back and turn it sideways. Good. And then what I want you to do is bend this right knee so you feel, again, the contact of the chair with your patella or right underneath your patella, right underneath that kneecap. And if you're not there, try to step your feet a little further forward so that you can have that uh, tactile feeling of, of that touch against your leg. Arms reach up, one front, one back. Looking out over our right hand, I want you just to hold that warrior two position. And if it's not hard enough for you, remember you can always take this left leg and slide it further back. Good, breathe in and breathe out. Excellent. Now we'll straighten out our right front leg, reach forward a little bit over that chair, and then bring the right hand down to the chair with the left arm spinning open, opening through the shoulders. And again, if you want to go deeper, bring it down to your elbow. But remember, we want to keep the hips underneath us, lifting and rotating open from the rib cage, opening up through those shoulders and reaching through that top hand. Excellent. Bend this front knee till you feel the chair top. Draw your abs and look forward. Reverse it. Reaching your right hand to the sky, left hand to your back leg. Still in contact with that chair, use it as a guide. Lifting through your rib cage here and breathing. Inhale, release the leg from the chair. Spin the toes forward. Reach up to the sky, pushing the hips forward. And then exhale, close over the legs. Shake your head out. Hands can be on your legs or on the floor, wherever feels most comfortable for you. Let the back release. Let your head fold in. And then bend your right knee and walk your hands over towards that right leg. And maybe put your hand on the chair. Some of you may want that. Maybe one hand on the floor, maybe one hand on the thigh, and one hand on the chair. Whichever feels best there. Feeling the inner thigh stretch. And then if you can, reach your right hand to the sky for me, please. Opening up to that spinal twist. And again, your hand might be on the thigh or even on the chair. Excellent. Release the hand back down to the floor. Reset yourself in the center. Bend both of your knees. Place your hands up onto your thighs. And then gradually and gently roll yourself all the way up. Beautiful. Let's take our feet in, stepping them together. And I want you to come to the side of your chair, please. Put your right hand on the chair for support. Good. So if you can, bend the left knee in, grab the top of your foot, and hold. If you cannot reach your foot, you're just going to take the leg behind you and we're going to go into a warrior three position. All right, so if you've got your foot right there, grab the top of that foot, soften your right knee and begin to kick that left foot back, opening up the chest and the shoulder. Maybe you don't need the chair and you can reach forward. If you can, great, go for it. If not, put your hand on that chair to guide you. And remember, if this is too much for you holding the leg, you're just going to extend that leg straight back. Nice deep breath in either of those positions. One more time. And then let's unhinge uh, and come up. We're going to do that same stretch right away on the other side. So please walk it over to the right side of your chair, placing the left hand as a guide on the chair. Bending your right knee in, grab the top of that foot, pulling it back, or just extend the leg back in that warrior three position. 
Then if you can, drive that back foot back into your palm of your hand, bending your left knee. Maybe some of you can get a little deeper. Maybe you can also do this without holding the chair, but the chair is there if you need it. And then when you're ready, rise up slowly, release the foot, and step your way back behind your chair. Shake those shoulders out. We're gonna do all of that on the other side. And I'm gonna be facing away from you so you can see what that looks like from the back side. We'll step our left foot forward now and take the right foot and turn it sideways and flat. Once again, bend this left knee so that it is in contact with the chair, reaching your left arm forward and your right arm back. Nice straight line from hand to hand. Please breathe in slowly and deeply through your nose, looking out over that left hand. Keep active, reaching through your hands. Great job, straighten out your left leg, shift your hips, reach forward over the left hand, draw your left hand down to the chair, right hand up to the sky, revolving open from that right rib cage. Please remember, if you need a deeper position, you may draw it down to your elbow. If that's too far for you, you can stay here with me on your hand. Excellent, look back down to your hand. Bend that front knee, tap the chair, draw the abs and reach up and flip it now, reversing the warrior, reaching your left hand to the sky, right hand down to your back leg. Great job, come back up to warrior two and now straighten that front leg out. I'm gonna turn away from you. You're gonna turn your toes to face the same direction. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. And then exhale and fold over your legs. Look between your legs, hands come down. Shake your head out, shake those shoulders out. And then when you're ready, bend your left knee, walking your left hand to the chair. Right hand can be on the floor or up here on your thigh. Now feeling the stretch through the right inner thigh. Nice deep breath here. And then when and if you can, reach your left hand to the sky, opening up into that leg. Release it back down, center your weight back over your legs, shake your head out. Bend both of your knees, hands to the thighs, and roll yourself up slowly one vertebrae at a time. Ah, step those feet together, shake those legs out. Good feet together here. I just want you to take your fists, make two fists, place them on the upper part of your glute, not on your back, but upper part of the glute. Drive the elbows back and open through the chest, maybe adding in a slight back, gentle back bend. Guys, we have been standing now for 35 minutes, almost 35 minutes. So I think it's time to sit down. What do you think? I bet you would not disagree with me. Bring it back to center, shake those shoulders out. Fantastic, all right, I'm gonna reposition my chair to the middle, so you'll feel free to reposition yours if you like, or you can leave it where it's at, it's up to you. We're gonna have a seat, I'm gonna face you for these, this next series of stretches. We're gonna start with our feet wide apart, wider than your chair. And I want you to place your hands on the outsides of your thighs, and then I want you to just roll back and draw your chin to your chest. So from side view, you're rolling back and opening up your back. And then you'll come up to an upright position, straight the spine, like turtle pose. And let's try it again. Roll back, drawing your chin to your chest, feeling the stretch across your upper back area. Inhale, straight spine. One more time. Draw it down, dropping the chin in. and straight spine all the way up. Good, now I want you to take your feet and walk heel toe, heel toe, and just do that a couple times, working on your ankle mobility. Seems like a insignificant thing to do, but it actually has great impact on us, keeping those tibialis anteriors strong, right there in your shin, and good ankle mobility. 
I want you to go ahead and hold it out wide this time and draw your right elbow inside of your right thigh and reach the left arm all the way up and over. Feeling that nice stretch all the way down the side of your torso. Now we're gonna do a little sun circle. I want you to draw that arm down all the way around and then switch sides and hold. And again, draw it down all the way around, all the way up this time and open those arms to the side. Take this right hip, draw it forward and come in and draw the left hip forward. So we're just dropping that knee, pivoting, massaging that hip joint here. Pivot and center. Keep your shoulders forward and center and down and center. One more time each way, down and center. Last time, drop and well done and center. Great job, bring your feet back together please. Next posture, I want you to take your left foot and bring it to the outside of that chair on the mat. Slide so that you're on your left glute and take your right foot back so it's on the mat. So you want to have this cleared, the, the inner thigh clear from the chair. So you have to kind of reposition yourself as needed so you feel a good spot on the chair. And ideally, if I asked you to, you could actually stand up from that position and get off the chair. All right, so you can try that if you want to, to see where you're at, see if you're in the right position. Arms go one front, one back. So this is our warrior two position seated. Keep the chest open, pull that right shoulder back. I'm not going to stay here long because we've already done warrior two, haven't we? So we're going to come down into what's called side angle or right angle. So we're going to drop that left elbow to the left thigh and reach the right arm straight up to the sky. And that's our option one. Option two would be to bring your left hand down to the floor to the outside of your left ankle. Whew, that's a deep stretch. If you'd like to go there, please do so. If that doesn't feel good for you, come up a little bit instead. Remembering that if you have to hold your breath, it's too deep. Make sure you're always able to breathe deeply. Excellent, everyone come back up. And now we're gonna take this back foot, lift the heel and spin it so that we're in a lunge. Bend this back knee, lift the chest up tall, feeling that stretch down that right thigh, right hip flexor. Left hand on the back rest of the chair. Inhale, reach your right arm up, thumb up to the sky, and then reach it over your head towards the left side. Take that arm out to the side and now rotate into the back rest of your chair. Grab it, ah, feeling that wonderful back stretch. And then slowly unwind and come to the front. Reposition yourself in the center of the chair. Take your feet out wide, turning your toes out like a goddess pose. Draw your elbows to your inner thighs and gently push those knees out. And then fold forward, laying that chest out and down, reaching out through the crown of the head. For those of you that would like a deeper position, you may draw your fingertips towards the outsides of your heels instead. Just make sure you're still able to press those knees out nice and wide. Good, then everyone place your hands on your thighs and we'll round the spine, melt back up. Good, let's release our hands behind us, take the feet in, interlace the fingers. I know you can't see that from that position, so it looks like this. Hands interlaced, open up through the chest and through the shoulder. And then release it down. Awesome. You ready to do the other side? Let's try it. We're going to take our right leg over the edge of the chair and then step the left foot back. And that left foot turns sideways, please. Reposition yourself. If you need to slide that chair a little bit differently, do so. Again, your test is if you could stand up from that into that warrior one position. Arms reach out one front, one back, pulling that left shoulder back. Keeping this back leg straight as you can make it without locking out, of course, that knee. Nice deep breath here. Again, we won't hold this one for too long. We're gonna come right into right angle. Drawing our right elbow down, we'll reach our left arm up to the sky, rolling that left shoulder back from the rib cage. And again, if you need a deeper position and you wanna try it here, bringing the right hand down to the floor. If your 
hands on the floor, elbow back to the thigh. Then we'll all press up from that position. Release the back arm, lift the heel, spin that leg forward. Maybe reposition yourself slightly on that chair. Bending this back knee, tuck that tail under. Sit tall, chest up, shoulders down. Breathe in, reaching your arm up, pressing the thumb back. Good, then reaching over your body like a rainbow over to the right. Come back to neutral, arm comes out to the side, breathe in, then rotate into your back crest, looking to the back. Unwind back around to the front. Slide those legs and shake those shoulders out. Take your feet back out wide into that horse stance or goddess pose. Drag those elbows down to the inner thighs. Gently press those knees out and forward fold, lengthening your chest out and down, finding that inner thigh stretch. Feeling free to bring your hands to the floor if you need more of a stretch. Very nice, go ahead and slide it back to an upright position. Bring your feet together, hands clasp behind you. Open up through chest expansion. Arch in the back here. Good, now I want you to take your hands down to the actual back of your chair if you can. Turning your fingers out, give me a little arch here. Open up through the shoulders, pull those shoulders back. and then come up to a neutral spine. And we're gonna reach our arms forward now. So pretend I'm facing forward with you. I'm gonna to try to do this from the side view without falling off my chair here. Chest up nice and tall, abs brace. See if you can tip back into boat pose. Lift your heels up off the ground. Toes to anchor to the floor for option one. So again, we want this nice long line from our head to our spine, i.e. we did not want to be rounded in this position. We want to lift our heart and pull those shoulders back. And if you'd like to go further, taking one foot up, or maybe you can bring both feet up off the ground. Nice deep breath, your knees together. Remember, you don't have to have the feet lifted. Maybe it's better for you with your toes down, you choose. Good, let's all come upright, sit up, and then fold over your legs and round the spine, taking your chin into your chest. Wrap your arms under your legs. If it feels nice for you, give yourself a hug. Then place your hands onto your thighs and gently push yourself up and roll up nice and slow. Head comes last. Well done. Let's take our right foot now and Extend it out in front of us. You know this one well. We do this in many of our other classes. Um, we're going to do it here too. So we're going to place our hands up high on the thigh and just tip it forward and really pull your toes back so you feel your calf stretch in addition to that hamstring stretch. our right hand on our right leg. Now it can be on the thigh, on the shin, or even on the floor if you prefer. And we're going to take that left arm and see if we can reach it to the sky. Lots of spinal twists today. They really help our back, our core, our core strength, our core mobility, helps in digestion and circulation. Bring it back down, hand on the thigh. Good, and then grab the back of that leg and lift it and bend it. And I want you just to hold it like you're cradling a baby and just rock that leg from side to side, massaging that hip joint. Good, then lay that foot onto your thigh, opening the knee to the side, lifting up tall, sit tall, lift and open the chest. And then if you need a deeper stretch, tipping or hinging from the hip forward to feel that outer thigh and glute stretch on that right hip. This is a bit deep for you if, you're, if you've had hip replacement surgery or you've got arthritis in that hip, maybe that doesn't feel good for you. You can straighten out the left leg and bring that foot a little lower, really help work on getting that mobility back in that hip.
Good, let's all come upright, release that leg out, shake it out, and let's do the other side. Left leg extends out and down in front of you, heel down, tip or hinge forward at the hip, find a good comfortable place on your chair that doesn't dig into the back of your leg. And then pull those toes towards you so that you also feel your calf stretching. Good, then grab the back of that leg and come up and bend it, grab the outside of that foot and then rock that leg from side to side. Good, and then if you can, set that ankle on that thigh and open that knee to the side and tip it forward. shake those legs out, shake those shoulders out. We have a little bit of extra time today, so we're gonna actually do one more sequence and we're gonna do it from the floor. So I'm gonna give you a moment to get there. What I want you to do is please bring your uh, chair to the edge of your mat so that you have a whole mat, or if you're on carpet, doesn't matter. Then you're gonna come on, ease on down to the floor for me, please. And what I'd like you to do is inch yourself up, scoot yourself so that you're right underneath that chair, and then roll yourself down and place your feet on the chair. So this is a great position for your back. It's going to feel lovely on your lower back. You'll feel so good after we finish class today. Of course, we're not gonna stay here for the last few minutes of class uh, yet. We'll, we'll come back to that, I promise. I'm gonna do a few exercises though before we get there. So what I want you to do now is take your right knee and just draw it into your chest, hug that knee in, keep your left leg on the chair, and circle your right toes around. And then circle the other direction. Good, and then extend the leg up. See if you can grab the back of that leg, get a little deeper hamstring stretch than maybe when we were seated. And if you cannot reach your leg up from the calf, you can certainly slide your hands down lower or grab a towel and wrap around the bottom of your leg instead. From here, I want you to flex your ankle, pull back. Good, then I want you to bend your knee in towards your right shoulder and then straighten the leg back out. And we're gonna do that a couple of times. So bend the knee in towards your chest or angle in towards that right shoulder. Maybe if you're a little bit tender, you might feel that right glute and attachment. Straighten it out. One more time, ease and bend that knee. And then release that foot down. Take the bottoms of your feet together and see if you can just open those knees a bit, finding that inner thigh stretch. Slide the feet up a little bit closer to you on the chair if you need a deeper stretch. Good, gentle, easy stretch for those hips. Zip those knees back together. Let's do the other side. Left knee comes in, grab underneath the leg, circle those toes around. and switch directions. Great, now go ahead and straighten out that leg if you can, grab wherever you can, flexing the ankle back so you also feel the calf stretch. Now bend that knee, angling it towards your left shoulder. It's kind of like doing half of dead bug, right? Straighten it out. And bend again, pull in, and straighten it out. We did three times on the first side, so you know we're gonna do three times on this side, right? So one final time, bend that knee in, and straighten it out. Excellent job, place your feet on the chair, place your hands on the floor. See if you can just squeeze your glutes for me. That's option one, just contract your glutes. And then if you can, see if you can press your feet into the chair and lift up. Make sure you don't turn your head right and left, look straight up to the sky, squeezing your glutes here in this elevated bridge. This bothers your shoulders, upper back, or any other area of your body. Keep your hips down and just squeeze or contract your glutes. Make sure that chair doesn't move. Ooh, and then slide those hips back down to the floor. Bend both of your knees and now for dead bug, grab the outsides of your feet or if you can't reach your feet, outsides of your ankles or shins. Good, 
and then release the feet back to the chair for a moment. Relaxing the lower back. Take those arms out to the side, palms facing the sky. Let's take those legs now, draw them in, and see if you can lower them to the right side of your body. Squeezing the knees together as much as possible, look to the left. Good, look back to the sky, take your left foot back to the chair, right foot to the chair. Hold there for a moment, reach your hands forward, look forward, see if you can curl your torso up and lower it down. You have to get out of bed in the morning. How do you get out of bed? You gotta roll up, right? Curl up, reach for the chair, come on down. We're gonna do that one more time. Look forward, curl up. And come on down, head down, open those arms out to the side, lift the legs up side by side, gently lower the legs this time to the left side, tipping your head looking to the right. Good job, one leg at a time, back up to the chair. We're gonna do those curl ups one more time. If you can, hands down. If it bothers your neck, you're just gonna stay here for a moment. If you can, curl up, reach like you're getting out of bed. Lower yourself down easy on the neck. Again, curl it up, lifting from your abdomen and releasing down. One more time, curl it up and release it down. Relax your head, take and turn your head right and left. Good, and then just relax your feet on the chair as comfortable as you can. Wiggle your toes, shake out your fingers. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. See if you can touch the backs of your hands to the floor. And maybe yes, maybe no, but see where your shoulder is at. Do you have one shoulder a little tighter than the other? Then circle those arms down and around, palms facing the sky, and let your fingers curl slightly in towards your palms. Please go ahead and close your eyes. This is a very restorative position for your back. So those of you with any back issues, you might find that this is so much more comfortable for you than lying in suit savasana when we usually lie flat on the floor. So feet up gives your back a lower, uh, lower back a little break there. I'm gonna go ahead and inhale through your nose, feeling your chest expand, feeling your shoulders roll back and open. And slowly exhale and release it out. And I want you to go ahead and count your breath this morning, please. Wait to see how long you can make the breath last. So maybe it's four seconds, that's our minimum goal. Maybe it's five, maybe it's six. Some people can get over 10. The sky's the limit, it's up to you. So breathe in however long you can take in that breath for. And whatever number you come up with, as you exhale, count backwards and try to make the exhale last just as long as the inhale. That's the tricky part. Maybe even a second or two longer if you can. Clear out all the gunk that gets in the lower lobes of those lungs as you exhale. So that on the very next inhale, you can fill them with fresh energy, fresh oxygen. Think of your body that way. When you exhale, get rid of the garbage. Get rid of the stuff that you don't need. Let it fall from your shoulders. Slide away from your face so that on your next inhale, you take in new, fresh energy, like you're revitalizing yourself with every breath you take. There's a chance to embrace something good. And with each exhale, there's a chance to let go of something that you do not need. Every breath we take, we make a choice. A choice to feel the good, to look for the good, and to embrace. And every 
every exhale, we have a choice to let go stuff that's not important, doesn't matter. Stuff that weighs us down, get rid of it. So you have more room on your inhale to embrace the good and find the happiness. your back feels. When you're ready, wiggle your fingers. slowly. I want you to bend those knees back in and roll them over to your right side. Open your eyes just gently. Take your left hand to the floor and push yourself up nice and gently so you don't get dizzy. Good. From there, we'll roll over to our knees, tuck our toes under, and gently roll back to the feet, hands to the thighs, reposition the head so it feels square and roll yourself up. And then from there, have a seat. Come down to your chair for me, please. Place your feet flat. Let's use the backrest this time for the first time. Let your back relax against that back. Hands to your thighs. Let's draw our left ear to our left shoulder, feeling a stretch through the side of our neck. And then draw that chin down all the way over to the other side. Hold. Draw that chin down to the chest. I am so glad you decided to join me this morning. Let's do the stretch again. Finishing out this year with something positive for yourself. We'll be back next week or next year. One of the same in this case, right? Same time, same place, draw the ear over to the other shoulder. So I hope that you all have a happy and safe New Year's. Draw that chin to the chest, and we look forward to next year. Please take a deep breath, inhale, reach all the way up to the sky, and exhale. Once again, as you breathe in, take that opportunity to draw in the good. Reach for it embrace it. Bring your hands together and gently close them to your heart. Thank you all for joining me today as you do every day. Namaste. Thank you guys. See you next week.